Hi there Year 8, here's the second video I promised to make you for a revision for your test next week. In this video we're going to revise changing the subject of the formula. Now this topic is very like solving equations, okay, almost identical other than maybe you have more than one variable or letter in them, but the idea is exactly the same. And I'll show you how in three examples, then I'll give you some questions and I will then give you time to try them and, and then give you the answers at the very end. Okay, so here's an example one. Make x the subject of this formula. We want to make x here the subject of the formula. That means we want it in the form, This what does this mean? We want it in the form x equals and then whatever else is, is left. x has to be on its own. Uh, without anything adding, subtracting, multiplying or dividing by it on its own, equal to everything else on the other side of the equation. So that's our aim. We want to move from this type of equation to this type of equation. Okay? With your x's, your, with not, no x's on the other side, sorry. No x's can be on the other side. But, for example, your other things, your y's, your ads, your 3's, anything else is on the other side. So that's what we want. Okay, you do it exactly like you um, solve equations. You pretend you're solving for x and do the exact same thing as if you were solving for x. So I want x on its own on the left-hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 4y from both sides. Okay, and then I would have just 3x on the left-hand side and I would have 5 subtract 4y on the right-hand side. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Because I just want 1x. Because I've got 3x's of that. So I divide both sides by 3. And I get x is equal to 5. Subtract 4y. All divided by 3. And there we go. x now is the subject of the formula. It's on its own on, on one side of the equation with everything else on the other side. Done. Example 2. We want to make x the subject of this formula. Do note, however, we have got two x's. One on, uh, we've got five x's on the left side and two x's on the right. So let's just make all the x's go together. So let's subtract two x's off both sides of the equation. So then I would get that 3x plus 2y is equal to 1. And now I'm exactly in the same place as before. I want to make x on its own. So I'm going to subtract 2y off both sides, and I'm going to get that 3x is therefore 1 subtract 2y, and I'm going to divide both sides by 3 because I want 1x, so therefore x is 1 subtract 2y all divided by 3. x is now the subject of the formula. In uh, this colour here, you might want to put this in brackets. Use a different colour to tell your operations. I find that handy. Okay, So I'm just telling on each line what I'm doing to get from one line to the next. Look how my equal signs are all in line. That is very important. Okay. Now in this question, we want to make x the subject of the formula. You'll notice that there is an x here and an x here. So there are 12 x's on the numerator of the fraction and two x's on the denominator of the fraction. So we want to collect all the x's together and make x a subject. So why don't we multiply both sides of this equation by 2x subtract 3. And then we would get that 12x plus 4y is going to be 3 multiplied by 2x subtract 3. Okay, so if you multiply both sides of the equation by 2x subtract 3, effectively you cancel the 2x subtract 3 off the denominator and on the right-hand side, you get 3 multiplied by 2x minus 3. Now we're going to expand these brackets. So we're going to get that 12x plus 4y is equal to 6x subtract 9. Okay, and now we're going to subtract 6x off both sides of the equation to get x's uh, only on one side. So we have 6x plus 4y is equal to negative 9. And then we're going to subtract 4y off both sides of the equation. So we have 6x is going to be negative 4y, subtract 9. And then finally, we're going to obviously divide by 6. And we're going to get that y is equal to negative 4y, subtract 9, all divided by 6. And there you go, y is now.
Uh, sorry, I've made a, a tiny little mistake here. This was it. I don't know why I changed that to Y at the last minute. This is X here, and this will be X. So X is now the subject of this formula, and we're done. Okay, so now it's time for you to try a few questions yourself. Okay, now time for you to try four questions. For each of these, I would like you to make X the subject, using the knowledge we've just done. You should be able to do all these, and I'll put the answers up in 10 seconds. Show all your working in each stage, and if you can't do them, come and see me before the test next week. And here are your answers. The answers for the first one is that x is going to be equal to 2 subtract 3y all over 7. The answer for the second one is that x is going to be 8 subtract 3y all divided by 3. The answer for the third one is going to be that 3 subtract 3y all divided by 7. And the answer for the fourth one, when you make x the subject, you get yourself... Um, 6y subtract 2 all divided by 3, x is equal to that. And there we are, this, this is changing the subject. Last slide, I've just got a few tips for you for the exam, and here are the following tips. Firstly, show all your working, show all working. Secondly, in, in the algebra questions, check your answer. Check answers to make sure sub them back in to check they're right and also now I've got two extra little videos that I think you could watch to prepare yourself for next week so if you type in Hegarty Maths on YouTube Hegarty Maths and you look on the opening page there are many playlists okay if you go down to the playlist that is um, I think it's the, the fifth playlist or the f and it's called G uh, GCSE Maths Revision Higher. Okay, I would recommend within that playlist you watch the trial and improvement video just to double check you can do that because some of that is coming up in the test. And if you've got time, a really good video is the third video in that list and it's called Solving linear equations uh, from geometry okay so it's quite a long video not everything in there is going to be in your test but a couple of things so if you had a bit of time they would be two good little videos to to work on over the weekend so well done thanks for watching i hope it made sense do see me on monday if you have any troubles thank you